emotions. And the question of whether a brain scan could one day recognize an emotion like remorse has brought me to Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh to visit with Marcel Just. We can certainly decode individual thoughts. Yeah. And we're, we're sort of working, our aspiration eventually is to be able to decode complex thought. In our popular imagination, we, we think of these MRI machines as your chance to read our minds. We are almost doing that, aren't you? Aren't you? Well, our, our, our thoughts are in our brains, certainly. Yeah. And our brains have activation patterns. And we've trained computer programs to recognize those activation patterns. To actually recognize the pattern of thought. Yes. What's Kara going to be doing in here? This is a very elementary kind of thought that she's going to be experiencing. She's just going to look, see letters of the alphabet. W now, she saw a W. It retrieves the images. And the computer's going to figure out what? W. W, so, and correct. correct. This is really unbelievable. In close to real time, the computer voice announces the letter Kara has just seen. I. Correct. The computer reads the thing that happens in her brain when she sees the letter, and the computer says she's I. seeing an O or she's Correct. seeing a D. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Impressive though it may be, decoding the thought of a letter is a very long way from decoding the complexity of an emotion. Which is why Alex Spieth is on her way to the MRI machine. But I think it's down this way. So what, are you a, you're an acting student here? Yes, I am. I'm a junior at the School of Drama. Alex has volunteered to be a subject in an experiment to see if Marcel Just's computer algorithms can figure out what she's feeling while lying in the scanner. She's going to go through a process that she would, would go through on the stage to, to call up an emotion. That's and you're right. going to tell her what emotions are? Yes. On the screen, a word will come up yeah. like happy. Yeah. And then, for three seconds, she's supposed to conjure up happiness. The computer then attempts to divine the essence of Alex's happiness, so that if it sees the pattern again, it'll predict she's feeling happy. With simple emotions like happiness or disgust, the decoder is showing some promise. But with more complex emotions like jealousy, the computer so far remains baffled. Which brings me back to the question that brought me here. Would it be possible someday to look inside a specific de defendant's brain and determine if they really felt remorse? Um, I think one could identify remorse-related... But they could be I, acting remorse. Yeah, what if they're an actor? Yeah, right.